Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. New controls for commercial boaters are coming as the government looks to right the ship when it comes to the industry. This after a report issued yesterday revealed a series of breaches linked to the operation of that ill-fated Four Seas tour vessel in which a tourist was killed in June and several others injured. Since that report was issued, Minister with Responsibility for Transport, the Honorable Renwood Wells, instructed Port officials to inspect each vessel in Exuma and says there are plans to introduce technology which would keep up to date records on the registration status of all vessels. There is concern and where we're slack we can tighten up. We're going to tighten up. You know it falls under my um, portfolio. The former minister uh, had, had done a number of initiatives to try and bring this industry, to bring the port department into compliance. The, the Honorable Frankie Campbell was working very hard um, and I'm going to be following in that vein to bring in the, the requisite uh, IT technology, um, information technology to know which boats are registered because they're supposed to be registered every year, registered and inspected throughout the country and so we're going to bring in a, a system whereby we can say for sure that every boat out there, commercial vessel, that sails, that sails and plows the seas of the Bahamas is safe for commercial traffic. Now the report is in the possession of the Attorney General's office and the victims. Minister Wells, an engineer by profession, says what he's learned so far in the BMA's report is quite alarming. He explains a new mandate given to the port department in order to establish a more deeply regulated system. I'm somewhat disappointed because in engineering, before you can actually live in a building, ride a vehicle, the design has to be done on paper. That design has to be approved on paper by either an electrical engineer, a mechanical engineer, a structural engineer, a civil engineer, an aeronautical engineer for airplanes, or a naval architect, in the case of boats. Should have inspected, been able to look at those drawings and say, this is a boat that we feel is safe. Okay? That is not done in the Bahamas. So we have a number of persons who have built boats. And so as a part of the port department, what I'm going to be doing is that before those boats are actually built, that we do have a naval architect who's going to look at those designs to ascertain that those designs are actually safe. 